So we are in Home Depot today. My dad said they have cheaper boxes. I have peanut here. We're gonna get some storage stuff to put my clothes in here. Some of them, we'll see how much that actually fits. I feel like Peanut totally knows what's happening and what's going on. My cutie patootie. Um, yeah, and boxes here are literally half the price. And there's that number 44 again coming at me. Is this a good look for Peanut? <laughs> Baby boo boo. So let me fill you guys in on the backstory of how I all of a sudden had to move out of my apartment. Basically, I had put a 60 day notice that I was leaving, but since I'm a wanderlust gypsy, sort of irresponsible child that never knows what date, day, any day of the week is, I always get confused. I basically literally forgot um, that I had to move. I knew that I had to move, I just did not know the exact date. I got that kind of confused. I had just gotten back from a press trip in Thailand. Um, it was my birthday, which was a whole thing on its own. I had a few other family trips and my sister was visiting me from Israel. So I just kind of got lost into that world and I didn't realize that I actually had to move until the leasing office had put a letter on my door letting me know that I have a couple days to move. A friendly reminder, which really stressed me out. So from the time that I actually got the notification until my actual move, um, I had literally five days to pack up my stuff. I had no idea where I was going. I had to put things in storage and kind of try to figure things out ASAP. I know this video should have been posted a while back, as in months ago, but I was having double computer issues with all of my computer, but I just got a brand new one. So I will be uploading a lot of brand new videos coming up soon of what happened in the last couple of months. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting with my closet. I already took some stuff. My room's an exploding mess. Typical, you know, um, moving shit. But I bought these bends um, for clothes because, I don't know, I can see from the side. This is what I normally do every time. I buy a clear one. I see from the side what there is in the back, in the box. Um, and I like this, um, you know, this plastic thing. That way it doesn't get wet, God forbid. So I'm thinking of doing um the peach one the pink one as like kind of summery clothes and then the blue one um with winter stuff and then in case i need to move or i mean not move i'm already moving in case i need i don't know stuff for different seasons i can just look on the side and see what's in here there's you know yeah there's only two dresses but i like that and I am going to save some sparkle. It sucks because when you start packing, you're like, oh my god, that's so pretty. I want to wear that. But I haven't worn it in a bajillion years. So probably two years. So I'm like, okay, you can go in here now. I think the greatest thing I learned is to never take fucking breaks. Because the moment you take a break, you just don't want to move. I was like, it was happening for me. I was killing it in the packing and organization department. And then I was like, I'm just going to sit down for five minutes. Wrong. Don't ever do that. Just keep the flow going because now I don't want to get up. I just want to be lazy. I want somebody to feed me. Yeah. And pack the rest for me. Okay, but as we see, progress is happening faster than I'd like. Um, yeah, there was all my decor there and around the TV, boxes, things are coming off the walls, and um, yeah, laundry, talk about laundry. Hi you guys, good morning, so I'm supposed to be moving today or tomorrow, the goal was today, I'm a lagger and a last minuteer, and I was so exhausted from yesterday's madness of trying to find the good storage that doesn't look like bodies are stored there um, <laughs> and so I'm totally lagging behind but as an update um, I'm doing laundry so I'm gonna have a shit ton of things to fold here are things that I'm taking with me um, more things that I'm taking with me still packing stuff um, yeah everything's kind of like this exploding mess I mean even my bathroom. Those are things that I want to take. That's trash. Um, what else do we got here? I don't know. More laundry to do. Boxes. These are kind of things that I can't live without. Um, 
what I noticed about myself mainly is that I always it's funny right when I was a kid my mom told me that I need to learn how to read and I need to read more and she would make reading a punishment and I hated reading and I would rebel against it and these are some of the things that I have I cannot live without and there's all these books there's all these books that I literally cannot live without they're all self-growth help book and spiritual books and I just I can't and my tarot cards I can't and my drone computer chargers the drone is here certain masks for your face important paperwork I am literally cleaning my bathroom up and I um I keep finding all these cool face masks and stuff. Like, do you see this? This is all like masks that I've bought. Like for my hair and my face. I bought all these cool ones in Thailand. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. There's, there's a lot going on over here. I'm trying to organize, but yeah. Yeah, now I'm like playing. I'm playing. I, sh I need to stop playing. I need to stop playing. Oh my god, you guys. I feel like I'm gonna die and I die. It's 15 minutes to 7 a.m. I have not slept. I am so exhausted. If you hear in the background, there's laundry. There's still that pile of laundry to be done. But right now I think I'm at the peak of finishing stages. I am taking the bed sheets off. My canopy is gone. I am deliriously tired. That's like an understatement. Especially because I was on the phone with Stupid Spectrum, my internet and cable company, for two and a half hours who decided to disconnect my services like a day prior. I can't even deal. And they say that they can't put it back on anyways as I am trying to create energy <laughs> for this video um, as I'm packing my life into suitcases I can't believe that I'm freaking gonna live out of a suitcase again I have not done that in five and a half years I've had a home um, I almost feel like I'm too old for this in a way, like, I feel like there's obviously worse things in the world to worry about, but, I don't know, I always thought I'd never be too old to do that, but now I'm like, ah, oh, for reals, living out of a suitcase, ugh, oh. packing this has been a challenge because in a week it's gonna be September, and I don't know where I'm going in the world. I do not know where I'm going in the world, so I do not know if it will be cold or hot. I'm already feeling the coldness in LA at night when I'm walking peanut. So, yeah, I'm like, dresses, winter wear, what the heck do I wear? Um, yeah, peanut's super freaking out. He's under the bed, I hear him. I would be too if I didn't understand what the fudge was happening. I mean, <laughs> and I mean, it's uh, mentoring the unknown. It's exciting and random. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea where I'm going to live, how long I'm going to live for. I don't know, you guys. I really don't know, but I guess cheers to a new adventure. I think that the average person would be totally freaking out at this point. You know, being 34, with a dog, not knowing where you're going to live, putting your things into storage, and hoping for the best, and just kind of following your heart and intuition, but that's what I'm all about. Um, yeah, so I guess we're going to try to find a home, or make a few homes along the way, and whatever I find is comfortable and vibes right then I will stay there I love you guys so the last touches is laundry left I'm gonna put that in a bag that's trash 
my life, my life, my life, my life. Now, really, that's partial my life, but my real life is going to be right here. That's going to be my new life. But really, this is going to be my new life, plus my purse, my computer, Peanut, his house. And I think I'm probably going to use that. I know it's really extra, but I'm a grown-up now, so I, I thrive off of not having a ridiculous amount of suitcases. But because of the weather, we do not know where we're going, so this is going to be the new life very unexciting <laughs> in a way um yeah and winter clothes summer clothes boxes that's for my sister some more stuff some more stuff that's mainly my stuff that right here all these bags are donation bags and that's the story of my life see you on the next route it's kind of sad right now Hmm. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> Aren't you jealous? Yes, you are. Aren't you jealous? Yes, you are. Aren't you jealous? 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 Yes, you are. Okay, you guys, we did it. We freaking did it. Come. This is. I don't want to say this is my life because I don't feel like that's the right terminology because my life. Here. No, my life is Peta. My life is you, little sis. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is my life, I suppose. Let's say bye bye. I don't even know. Is this going to be a couple of months or a couple of years? Last time I thought two months, I didn't turn it to four years. Peace out. Peace in the Middle East. My Indian Harper ring. <laughs> Okay. Yay! Herbie fully loaded. Herbie fully loaded. So grateful to my amazing family. We did it. Everything is in the storage unit. This is all donation stuff. Um, I have to go to my house right now. My dog is there. Peanut's freaking out. Freaking out. And I locked him into a room. So I don't know why I did that. But in my room. <laughs> um, and I have somebody coming in um, to pick up my couch. And a few other things that I'm donating and I have to do one last load of laundry, one last box, I believe. And that's it. I can't believe it's over. I can't believe it's over. I cannot believe it's over. Um, as we were driving away to the storage unit, I looked outside one last time and I was like, it was a good home. It was a good home. It was a beautiful home. It was a good home. Lots of memories. It's the longest house that I've lived at as an adult by myself, so it's kind of freaking trippy as fuck.